In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3, as well as install a custom recovery, uh, which allows you to install any amount of ROMs that you want. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put it into the download mode, which is done by holding the volume down button, the home button, and the power button at the same time. You'll see the screen pop up, prompting you that this is dangerous. Let me just press the volume up button to continue. And your little Android guy. Now you want to go ahead and plug this into your computer. Your computer should recognize it. If your computer doesn't recognize it, that means you need the USB uh, Samsung USB driver tools, uh, which I'll show a link in the bottom. Once it's connected, open up your Odin, and you should see that it is connected there with a calm status. Now you're going to want to open up your CF Auto Root uh, by clicking on the PDA button. Find your CF Auto Root folder file that you wanted to upload that matches your phone. Make sure you selected Auto Root and F Reset Time on your options in Odin. Make sure nothing else is selected. Could be dangerous. Once this is done, click the Start button and you should notice it, the progress going through. To completion status. Once it's uh, completed, you'll, your phone will reboot into this red screen. Um, It'll do its stuff, it works pretty quick, and it'll reboot your phone once again. At any time you can unplug your phone from your computer. Uh, let it reboot. Back up. It'll, it'll run through some standard upgradings. Um, but now you should notice that you have a Super SU icon in your apps menu. Uh, if this exists, it means you're rooted, which is a great thing. You can go in there and check it out if you want. To go forward with this, you have to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. Because it will have to access the internet. If you don't have ROM recovery already installed on your, on your, on your phone, you'll have to get it through the Google Play Store. I've already installed it, so we're going to go into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Locate your phone version. Mine is an S3. You'll see here that it gives you the option to flash clock Clockwork Mod Touch. This is great, but it's a paid version. Uh, in the top there, recovery, you should see that your your model that you selected is the Samsung Galaxy S3 or whatever version you're installing it on. Uh, and then go ahead and click clock, the Flash Clockwork Recovery. Clockwork Mod Recovery should download the recovery from the internet. SuperSU will prompt you if you are willing to grant it super user permissions. And then you should see a prompt that says it's successfully flashed. Uh, just cancel that, you don't want to go, you don't want to upgrade. Now you can reboot into recovery, um, which can also be done by turning off your cell phone and holding the volume up key while the ho while holding the home key while turning the, the machine on the, the smartphone on and this will bring you into recovery mode here you can install your zip make sure that you um, clean your cache and your partitions properly according to the policy procedure below um, so that there's not any residual files left in your in your hard drive when you're installing your new ROM it can cause some conflicts. That's it. Good luck.